so many veterans Sir. up here on the stage. And uh, my niece is like 18. I told her where I was coming. I told her EPMD, this, that, and third. And she hit me with the who. And y'all are going to do kind of a hip hop 101 to remind the under 21 crew. Not Eric. at all. Those that's supposed to know is going to know. There this you ain't, go. There we, you, go. you know, we ain't handing out icicles with this show. Like exactly. <laughs> this, is, this is Rock yeah. the Bells, baby. Yeah. It ain't Rock You to Sleep. Yeah. Yeah, the people who come to Rock the Bells know what Rock the Bells is. And Rock the Bells is 90s hip hop. And, you know, I'm not going to try to change it for no reason. You know, for the young kids, they come to learn. And I'm going to show them, you know, what the hit squad is if they don't know. Down with the I think that the lineup is monumental this year is because you have, like, just say the dip set, for example, to have all of them together, Jim Jones, Joels, and Cameron on the stage at the same time. I heard that it's going to be the Rough Riders with DMX and the Locks and Eve to be able to have the hit squad, which is... You know, again, nobody had really seen an EPMD, Keith Murray, K Solo, Red Man, and Dos Effects on the stage since the early 90s. Not to really put it out there though, but there was no crew like us ever in history doing it at that time. We was the first crew of MCs at the time that you ever seen than everybody that was successful. Everybody had their own technique. It was a bunch of guys with different personalities, but the same, and we all won. We all had our own identity, and and when when it came, it was special. I mean, one time the Billboard had came out, and all four groups was on the Billboard charts, from one to ten. You know, so I don't know whoever did that before in in, in, in the history of groups. So when you see it now happen, but we was the first ones to do that. I think that the times were different. We didn't have all that what we have now. We didn't have the web. You no, know, all this stuff was done underground. We didn't have that much outlets and media and being able to let the world know who that is. And that's the reason why things are different now than what they was. So for us to be able to come back on that stage, you know, rock the bells and change to be understanding what that is, even though some people might not be familiar with it, there's those who are going to really feel the presence of what that represents to know that DOS effects which changed the landscape of music at one time. You know, the world w was miggity miggity and with the, you know, with crisscross and chickity check yourself with Ice Cube. Dots Effects made a big imprint at the magnitude we did at, at that period of time was something that was special. It was unseen before. And we gave the blueprint for those crews that ever wanted to do what they're doing now. We did that for them. <laughs>